This is the story of El Torbellino, or the Whirlwind, from Mexican Ghost Tales of the Southwest. Stories and illustrations by Alfred Avila. This story is retold by his daughter. The boy sat with his dog Mangas outside the small adobe structure they called home. They sat there in the shade, and the boy was scratching the dog's head. Mangas had received its name because it was a black dog whose front legs were white with black paws. It looked like it was wearing white sleeves, or mangas with black shoes. The morning was hot and dry, and the boy didn't want to move around in the heat. He just sat there staring at the mountains beyond the fields of corn and cacti and dry bushes. It must be cool on those mountains, he thought. His mother called him to come into the house and eat his pozole, a soupy mixture of hominy and pork. He yelled back, No tengo hambre. The heat was very uncomfortable. Chicho continued to daydream. Why can't I fly like a bird? They fly so freely and never seem to worry about the heat. Suddenly, to his surprise, a light breeze started blowing. The cool air rushed his face, just enough to make him feel good. His mother called out to him again, Chicho, go to the cornfield and pick some corn for tonight's meal, and pick a few jalapenos for your father's chili. He hated to hear his mother's voice, always wanting something, chop firewood, pump water, get this, get that. Muttering to himself, he walked away angrily to do what he was told. His muttering sometimes got him a swift swat on the behind. Un dia vas a llorar por mí, no voy a estar contigo todo tu vida. Then his mother would start to sob, covering her face with her apron. He would feel ashamed, but his attitude didn't change. Sitting in the shadow of the cornfield... He spotted a torbellino or whirlwind in the distance. It picked up dust and loose dry plants and swirled around and around way up into the sky. His mother had always warned him not to go near those whirlwinds. They were the handiwork of demons and the devil. This was their dance of evilness. Swirling and spinning, they worked themselves up into a sinful passion. Then the torbellino would vanish and the goblins left to commit their evil deeds in the world. The torbellino moved in closer and closer along the dry soil, making a soft whistling sound. What if he got up and headed for the whirlwind, but Mangas bit his trouser leg and held on. Chicho hit the dog on the jaw, and Mangas let him go. The foolish boy ran toward the torbellino. El Viento grabbed Chicho and pulled him into the swirling dust. His screams were heard by Mangas as the dog jumped in, barking, growling, biting, and scratching at the arms of the demons who were holding them within the whirlwind. Swirling and swirling they went, choking and gasping for air. Chicho's strength surged with his growing fear that the demons would take them to their master, the devil. He fought harder to break loose, and Mangas bit harder. Howls of pain and frustration arose from the demons. Suddenly, the boy and his dog were cast out. As the torbellino continued onward, they could hear the fading moans, groans, and screams of the demons. Chicho patted his dog's head. We're lucky to get away. Who knows what evil was in store for us if they had kept us in the whirlwind. As he shook the dust from his clothes and began to catch his breath, he noticed his hands. They were the dry, wrinkled hands of an old man. Veins protruded visibly, and his nails were yellow and dull. His body was longer and thinner. He looked over at Mangas. Beneath the dust his dog was covered with gray hair all over mingled with black, and its whiskers were white. As Chicho watched his dog hobble over to him, tears welled in his eyes and ran down his dusty face. What happened? Chicho fell down, crying and sobbing. 
El torbellino, el torbellino, it stole our youth. He finally got up and found the road that would lead back to their home. Broken bricks lay scattered around the standing walls of what remained of the adobe house. Desert shrubs grew all over the area. Everything had been abandoned many years ago. He stood there in the quiet ruins and called out, Mama! Mama! But only the echoes from the distant hills answered him. Chicho goes out in search of whirlwinds. Bent over with age, he chases after all the whirlwinds he sees, but they swiftly move away. The demons in the wind laugh at him. People call him El Viejo Loco. He hobbles after the whirlwinds, trying to go back to his youth. Maybe you've seen him?